Hey guys, what is up White Oak Legends? Uh, we are in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Uh, we decided to take uh, a little private hike up to the top of the mountain behind me. It's called The Hike. If you look at it, it's not on any brochures. It's not in your hotel concierge area. It's not in your lobby. It is actually near like the Coast Guard Marina area. And uh, this guy has a dog park. You can take your dogs for like doggy daycare, board them. He does dog training. And I think there was six or seven dogs that actually went on the hike with us. Um, it started at eight o'clock sharp. You stood outside these gates. He let us in. Um, he did a tour to the top. Uh, I took as much video as I possibly could. It was kind of strenuous. She had to use all four to get up. Uh, it kind of ridged back uh, to climb all the way up, but uh, a lot of it was steep, so I didn't want to trash the GoPro, and I also didn't want to fall. So there's probably 50 people that came. A uh, beautiful walk. Uh, like It's 10 o'clock now, so it took about two hours up and down. I tipped the guy. It was totally free. Of course, I tipped him, and that was an awesome experience. So if you come to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and you don't do the hike to the top of the mountain where the flag is, you're missing out. You got to see lands in on both sides. You'll see the video. Uh, next, we have two more days here. We're going to do a uh, water taxi to Lover's Beach and Dwarf's Beach hang out. I think you stay for like an hour. I think it takes $15 to get over there. Um, you'll see it on the video, both sides of the Pacific and the marina side. So stay tuned. Vito Laca, Toloache, San Pedro, San Marcos, San Isidro. These people, they were very allowed to try these beautiful plants of God. They try some. <laughs> <laughs> in order to reach different levels of conscience, and believe it or not, these people were the advisors of the emperor, the king, the prince. Here, also, we have all these beautiful plants, and I'm not gonna tell you where they are because many people wanna try. <laughs> the people here, they never try, or they use these plants with that end. Okay, why? Because they had the influence for the other side of the planet, and for sure they could reach different levels of conscience, but not trying plants, but doing.
marina. Um, this is actually the way back to the cruise ship if you were on a cruise ship, so that's what we experienced before. Um, vacationing, anywhere we can get near a marina, I absolutely love. I don't think Corey cares about looking at the boats, but these are these beautiful boats. The weather is beautiful. Just seeing the ins and outs of the marina working, people chopping up fish, uh, people coming in and out from their excursions, the glass bottom boats, the sailboats. Um, this, it's just really cool. Uh, here in Cabo San Lucas, you will have uh, just, I walked from the other side over here. You'll have 20, if not 40 people ask you for excursions or cheap silver or hats or trinkets or bracelets, but it's kind of part of the vacation experience. It's kind of annoying, especially when we we don't stay at a resort hardly ever, so we just stay away from all that. But um, I guess if you wanted a trinket for somebody and you wanted to get a good deal and haggle, that would be where to do that. You have lots of friends in Mexico. Uh, that's always what we laugh about. My friend, my friend. Uh, so this is really cool. People walking around the marina eating lots of shops, lots of bars, lots of food places. Uh, average taco is like two dollars and a half. Looks like um, you can get like three tacos, three drinks for 15 US dollars. So um, it's kind of a cool, kind of a cool spin around. And this guy right here is just really cool. All right, guys, this is Cabo San Lucas Marina.
Thank you.